<laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, man. All right. That was funny. Leon's and Abrams, you guys are fools. You need to know that. You're foolish. But y'all funny. Good thing Abrams did not get hurt, though. Boy, the boy got bumped by his boy so far. So far, so hard. Anyhow, you know what's at stake right now. China and Netherlands. Both winners. Both looking for chicken dinners. What do I mean? Whoever wins this will finish the day undefeated. The other team will have a split record. When you're looking at the way Pool B fares so far in this event, you got to look at uh, many different aspects, like Mongolia playing at home under pressure, Japan shuffling the cards, beating Mongolia at home. Netherlands and China, Japan, Benin playing tough. Ask Netherlands. They're not an easy one to get away from. Somebody is going to go back home. Somebody is not going to make the quarterfinals. Two of the five teams will go to the quarterfinals, but you got a lot of candidates. So going 2-0 in your first day of competition usually usually not always but usually sets you up pretty good for you to earn one of those two precious tickets so Abrams trying to collaborate with Slon going for the backdoor cut Slon shooting the lights out in the first game Spin cycle, but what were you thinking about? The Great Wall of China. His name is Ma Yan Cheng. He already had three blocks, if not four. I got to count, but I think he had three for, I mean, I know he had three for sure. The fourth one I'm not sure about. Bertotti got it off on the rim in time. But this boy right here, Yan Cheng, has been spectacular defensively. And he's been doing a good job offensively as well. I think he got poked in the eye. He's in pain right now. Got poked right at the end. Yeah, right here. Just hope there's no nail. That went and scrapped uh, the cornea. Oh, brothers and sisters, let me tell you. That is painful when it happens. Yep, finger in the eye. Oh. <laughs> That's very unlucky, very unfortunate. And trust me. He's not soft by any means, so if he's still on the ground. And it's probably a, a cut because, uh, first of all, you see the redness on his face. So if the finger kind of ripped through, it's a problem. Eyes are always painful. There's not much you can do. We get back to it. So Jan Cheng will get replaced by Han at the free throw line. First team foul against Netherlands. Yes, 
Hahn gets the bucket. Double foul, 13 foul against China, second team foul against the Netherlands, but China. Ambitious squad in this U23 World Cup. If I'm uh, correct, China is the second seed in the competition. Netherlands the seventh. Nice little love pass. Leons. Very athletic. Very bouncy. So Ma Jian Chang is back on the court. And that's a good sight for Team China. Even though you can tell his eye is diminished. Bertotti with a two-point dagger. Gonna be a moving screen against Zhang. Abrams hands it off to the shooter, Slon. That's gonna be the 15th foul against China. China very close to foul trouble after barely two minutes. Rams gives it up to the shooter, Slon, trying to create space, stepping back. He got Yan Chang to jump on the fake. Third team foul against Netherlands. Taking the handoff. And earning the foul call. Zong. Jian Chang, in a lot of pain, his eye crying on its own, very red. Bertotti gives it up to Leons. Leons does a little too much on that finish. New 12 seconds. Bertotti with the nice handles. Bertotti, no, sir. And Liu elevates. Double foul. Very physical matchup. Zhang Leons. Hugging it out too much. So China, one foul away from being, actually not one foul away, now in foul trouble. Netherlands is one foul away. Abrahams. Found the angle right over Dion Chang. Liu draws the 16th foul. So now both teams in foul trouble at the first TV timeout. China, top of the key, we'll check it up. Two men action, Liu. Did not get the foul. That's a tough bucket getter. But Toti gets it going. Another two piece. Moving screen, Yan Cheng. 
Kicking out his butt. You'll see it right here. Boop. Nope. It's not legal. Not everybody's allowed to take those, though. Liu elevates. Tries to get Bertotti back. Not happening right now. That's going to be the same call. Leons. Yep. Can't be backing up like that. Don't be surprised, buddy. That's the exact same call that you guys had two plays before. Zong, handoff action. And Liu can't get enough elevation on that pass. Great hustle by Abrams. And Sloan waiting for his time. And that could be it. It surely is. He's patient. He's not forcing anything. Netherlands up five. It's a big bucket. Liu forcing this one up. Not a good shot at all. Out of rhythm. And Leons. Oh, no. Leons blowing the easy lay. Making up for it with the steal. Makes another mistake with the turnover. Liu, big boy move, little boy finish. Han, open. Daylight, no knockdown. Yan Chang could not secure the offensive board. Oh, yes. Slan, very smart play. Fakes the handoff. Attacks the gap. Sloan missing the free throw. Uncharacteristic. Such a great shooter. Gonna have another crack at it. 0 for 2. Mm. Opportunity for China. And Chang gets his own off uh, offensive rebound. He's after his own miss. Slon. Yes, sir. Slon, the shooter. Netherlands up six. Mismatch City down low. Zong gets the bucket to go. Bertotti was not going to try to even reach for the ball. No reason to take a risk and commit a silly foul. Bertotti all the way. Offensive foul. Five point game, both teams with 18 fouls. Things can go either way still. Liu lobs it up, Zhang missing the layup. And Zhang staying with it, strong finish in the end. Leons and Zhang having a contest for missed open buckets right now. Leons with the two off target, but Abrams fighting.
and throws the hammer down. Six point game. Hunt all the way. Good momentum right now for China. Two buckets in a row. Offensively, but defensively. Getting a stop right now is a good idea. Liu needs to give the ball inside. Bertotti guarding Yan Chang. Liu holding on to the ball too long. Good thing for China, he got the bucket. Because I can tell you, ooh, silly foul. Ma Yan Chang. Silly, silly, silly. But I can tell you, good thing Liu scored, because as a teammate, I would have been upset if I'm a Yan Chang guarded by Bertotti under the cup. You better give me that rock. Bertotti missing. China, one foul away from double bonus. So no matter what, you better not breathe on your opponent. Don't give the referee an opportunity to whistle. Zang. Good take. Good finish. Bertotti sees daylight. Bertotti left open. Bertotti red hot. Just like Slon. And the turnover. Great defense by Slon. Netherlands with the opportunity to break away for good. Mm. Two minutes 20. Very long time, but Abrams knows there cannot be any contact. He goes right at Zong. Smart play. Seven point lead. Two minute, two minute action. The law pass. And Abrams keeps his arm up, making sure he doesn't drop the hammer. Leons. And Slun gets the bucket. No foul call. Zang with the rebound. Six point game still. Slon. Oh. Slon with the scoop pass. No look. Making it look easy. Liu will go to the cup. Ooh, that's a foul. That's a foul. No discussion. He's moving forward. Two free throws coming up for China. Time out requested to get a breather. This game is not over, but I tell you what, with the way Sloan is playing, Netherlands can feel pretty, pretty good about its chances to finish the day unscathed. Go 2-0. It can still go either way, even though Netherlands is in a very favorable situation. Bertotti gives it up. Leon's Bertotti got him jumping. Did he get the ball in time? No. Nope. So good defense, but they, they ate up some clock, which is good. So China needs to score quick. They need another stop. They need to score quick and get another stop. <laughs> Sounds easy, doesn't it, huh? Liu. 
Neil shuffles a little bit his pivot foot. The Totti sidestepping, forcing this one up. Jian Cheng, all the way. I like him. Chinese big man, four point game, but the time is running out. Sloan for the kill shot, misses badly. But the good thing going on for uh, Netherlands, they just eat up clock, they eat up clock, and they do it again and again and again. They take it all the way to 12. And now it's only 26 seconds left, so. Let me tell you what's gonna, gonna happen if they don't score in the next four, four or five seconds. They're not gonna have enough time to get another shot in. Han. Will score, but that's gonna be a three-point game. They're gonna look for a steal without committing a foul. Oh, the ball deflected, six seconds. Warning for D-Lev game. Four seconds, Abrams kicks it out, Sloan, and that's game! Netherlands! Two and oh! That's a big, big win. If you want to finish first in the group, that's exactly what you do. China still has control over its destiny, though. Next game up, it's going to be Benin against Mongolia. Mongolia.